This is Another Sign of the Times, an analysis and a commentary. Plastic in Great Pacific Garbage Patch increases 100-fold. The amount of plastic trash in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch has increased 100-fold during the past 40 years, causing profound changes to the marine environment. According to a new study, scientists from Scripps Institution of Oceanography in San Diego found that insects called sea skaters or water striders were using the trash as a place to lay their eggs in greater numbers than before. In a paper published by the journal Biology Letters, researchers said this would have implications for other animals. Sea skaters' predators, which include crabs and their food, which is mainly plankton and fish eggs. The scientists also pointed to a previous Scripps study that found 9% of fish had plastic waste in their stomachs. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which is roughly the size of Texas, was created by plastic waste that finds its way into the sea and is then swept into one area the North Pacific Subtropical Convergence Zone by circulating ocean currents known as a gyre. The Scripps Environmental Accumulation of Plastic Expedition known as Seaplex traveled some 1,000 miles west of California in August 2009. A statement on Scripps website said the scientists had documented an alarming amount of human generated trash mostly broken down bits of plastic the size of a fingernail floating across thousands of miles of open ocean. Scripps graduate student Miriam Goldstein, Seaplex's chief scientist, said that plastic had arrived in the ocean in such numbers in a relatively short period. Plastic only became widespread in late 40s and early 50s, but now everyone uses it in over a 40-year range we've seen a dramatic increase in ocean plastic, she said. Historically, we have not been very good at stopping plastic from getting into the ocean, so hopefully in the future we can do better. Researchers found fish larvae growing on pieces of plastic, sea skaters, relatives of pond water skaters, normally lay their eggs on flotsam, such as seashells, seabird feathers, tar lumps, and pumice. The sharp rise in plastic waste had led to an increase in egg densities in the gyre area, the study found. We're seeing changes in this marine insect that can be directly attributed to the plastic, Goldstein said in a statement. She told BBC News that the addition of hundreds of millions of hard surfaces to the Pacific was quite a profound change. Samples taken by the scientists, showed how marine life lives alongside pieces of plastic. In the North Pacific, for example, there's no floating seaweed like there is in the Sargasso Sea in the North Atlantic. And we know that the animals, the plants and the microbes that live on hard surfaces are different to the ones that live floating around in the water, she added. A garbage patch has also been found Atlantic Ocean, lying a few hundred miles off the North American coast from Cuba to Virginia. An oceanographer who coined the phrase the Great Pacific Garbage Patch said that the only solution was to switch to using biodegradable plastic and let the plastic gradually disperse. We can't clean it up. It's just too big. We'd have to have the entire U.S. Navy out there round the clock, continuously towing little nets, as produced so fast they wouldn't be able to keep up, he said. In other words, humans' plastic trash is also changing the ocean. And this, too, is another sign of the end of times, as we know them, transition days, which is a time of extraordinary changes, happenings, and events. Everything that must change 
must change quickly or rapidly and for the better because it really is about what kind of world are we leaving to the future generations and that should be a very important question to ask. Yes, the prophecy is true. Again, Revelation chapter 16 verse 3 And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea and it became as the blood of a dead man and every living soul died in the sea. 4. And the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and fountains of waters and they became as blood. 5. And I heard the angel of the waters say, Thou art righteous, O Lord, which are, and was, and shall be, because thou hast judged thus. 6. For they have shed the blood of saints and prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. 7. And I heard another out of the altar say, Even so, Lord God Almighty, True and righteous are thy judgments. It's time for prophecy to be fulfilled. And all these are more signs.